All right, so we're going to do some um, 30 ounce white sublimatable polar camels. These come from JDS as well. And uh, I'm talking about these things for a second. When these came out, I was so excited because the colors wouldn't show up on the stainless ones as well as they would on these white ones. So I bought these and I got the, uh, they're over there in the box. I got the wraps and I was putting them in my oven. And I don't know, man, I just kept getting yellowing on the cup. And when I would take the tape off, there would be like white marks. It was a big nightmare. So this is what we ended up doing. This is my mug. This is one of my mug press. I have a five mug press uh, that I got off eBay if I have a big coffee cup order. Um, but this is my regular heat press nation. Uh, I think it's like a six in one press. It comes with all of these different, um, all of these different uh, sleeves. So you can do shot glasses. Uh, and it's been a really good press. It's a Chinese press, I know. One of the sleeves quit working right away. But the main sleeve and the shot glass sleeve works, and, and so it doesn't give me any problems. Now, what I've had to do, and I know this is kind of uh, ghetto, fabulous, is I've put a nylon strap on the handle, okay? So I've got this nylon strap right here on the handle, and then when I put this cup in, I'm actually going to squeeze it with the strap, wrap the strap around this handle, and hand time it with my watch. I know. But it works perfect every time, and I'm getting ready to show you guys the whole process. Now, again, back to what I was saying about a paper cutter. This is where your paper cutter comes in. Super, super, super important. When you're trying to line these things up on these cups, you want clean edges. So I'm lining it up. See, I'm lining it up on this line to make sure my paper is staying straight. And that it's exactly, it's going to have a good, clean, straight edge. Just like that. And if your edges are off, when you go to line it up perfect, you can kind of get a crooked image. So those are perfectly square. I mean, they're just perfect every time. Now, the way this is going to work is I'm going to have to do it in two different presses. Because on this cup, I'm actually putting something on each side. Normally, I try not to do that. Okay? So I'm just... Any type of straight edge. I just lay it in about the middle of the cup. And I'm going to take my grease pencil, and I'm going to put a mark on each side of that cup. Now, the reason being is because those two dots are going to be straight across from each other. So this side and this side are going to be opposite. Now, I try to get as little tape on the cup as possible. So when I lay my tape on there, I'm just going to leave just the smallest little amount. doesn't matter how much tape is on the paper. I just try to leave the smallest amount on the cup. Sometimes on these cups, they can leave little tape marks. So now I can line my little black line up with my transfer tape. And see, now you see how important that line is because I can see the distance between the top of the line and the top of the cup so I know if I'm straight or not. All right, and my grease pencil mark, I can just wipe it straight off of there. Okay, this is set for 375 and I'm going to do one minute. Now, because this is not going to close all the way, the timer is not going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to put my cup in and make sure my transfer is about in the middle of my heat press and then I'm going to clamp it. and I'm going to clamp and I'm going to give it a little pressure and I'm going to tie this around the bottom as I'm looking at my watch. Let's say 25 after is when it went in. So it's going to do one minute. Well, you will need these big boys for these because they will be hot. Actually the uh, bottoms are not very hot so we're just going to pull our strap off and our cup comes right out. Now I can just actually grab the corner and peel that off. And that comes right off. I'm going to let that cup cool down uh, before I do the other side. And then we'll do the other side once it cools down. Same exact process. 
except this time this part is going to be up in the part that is not in the heat press, so it won't damage uh, what we've already pressed at all. Because you don't want this to get too much under your heat press, it can cause your letters to get fuzzy and stuff. And you can do a smidge, four or five seconds less than a minute. Uh, if you go over, it'll brown, and if you go under, your image can be faded. So you want to be as close to on time as you can. Um, so this one's 35, so I'll probably at about 30 start unwinding my strap and getting ready to pull it out. So 20. And you can use a timer. My wife, my cameraman, was just saying that I should have an egg timer. Normally when I'm in the zone, I can just use my watch. But sometimes you forget, like I did a few seconds ago. So here it comes out. I'm holding it by the bottom. See, it's not hot at all. Take my thumbnail and grab the corner of the paper, and that comes straight off. And you're good to go.